What's up, your hockey nuts? It's Tony Adonucci with Playmakers Hockey, back for another installment of drill sharing with Coach Tony. Okay, so we've given you um, a full team sequence of shooting drills. Now I want to give you a full team passing drill to use as a, a quality warm up. Okay, so I want to get right into it. The topics covered in this drill, uh, obviously passing, uh, routes. Okay, so routes on the breakout. We've got D bumps. We've got forwards working on facing the puck during passing. We've got low and slow for our middle option players running their routes. Then we've got off the rush. We're working on middle lane drive at the point of entries. And then we've got defending the rush. And we also have got uh, defensemen working on their offensive blue line gap control instead of waiting until the rush is already happening. Okay. This whole drill is only going to have one whistle to start, so it's a continuous drill, so that requires timing. And then it also requires uh, quality talking, quality communication. Okay, and we call this one West Virginia Passing, uh, and the abbreviation so the players remember it is WVP. Okay, so to get set, you can see we've already got our players in position. Uh, the opposite end defensemen in the corners, they have the puck to start. And I like personally only having two pucks on the ice for this whole drill because it keeps the players honest. And in the games, you only have one puck. So if you make a mistake, you got to track down that puck to continue the drill. Okay, so it, it reinforces good routes, good habits, and concentration on every pass. Okay, okay. whistle blows to get started. The defensemen in the opposite corners with the puck, they're going to start the drill. They're going to take a couple strides. Okay, and at the same time, this net front D is going to release on the strong side. Okay, net front D, release on the strong side. And I'm only going to end up drawing uh, one side just to keep this uh, diagram clean. Okay, but it's happening at the same time on both ends. Okay, and it's a continuous drill, so I'll show you how we make it continuous as well. Okay, so just to start the drill again, D is going to release. We're going to get a bump pass. To initiate the breakout and you can work on direct bumps or indirect bumps off the end wall okay at the same time that's taking place both of these forwards to start the drill f1 and f2 are going to drive middle ice and f1 is then going to time it so that he works to get to the outside wall and opens up and pivots and faces the puck okay f2 is going to become that middle option on the breakout so um, that player is low and slow. Okay, so as this D works around, he's now going to execute that breakout, and he can either hit the guy in the middle or hit the player on the outside along the wall. Okay. Also, when that play is taking place, okay, when that pass is made, the D that's waiting at the offensive blue line, we want this player to gap up, work on their Euro pivot skating skills, okay, acquire a good gap, and then pop and make their pivot and then get into their C-cuts, okay? So if I can get rid of this, just so we can be a bit more clear on positioning now, we've got D, forward, forward, and one of these two forwards has the puck. Okay, so now these players are going to work together as a unit of three, making one-touch passes all the way up that side of the ice. Okay, so they're going to continue all the way down, working together, exchanging as many one-touch passes as possible. Okay, so once we get to the other end, when the defenseman gets below the top of the circle, we want to get him him or her the puck and we want them to keep that puck because now they are going to initiate the next cycle of the drill to start the breakout down the other end okay um, again I want to make sure this is clear because the rotation uh, can be the confusing part so let's get some of this out of here okay so now we've got this D will have already been gone okay so we're gonna have defenseman 
here. Oh, let's erase that. The defenseman here to start that cycle over. And he's got the puck. Okay. So the outside forward. This F1. Okay. F1. Who has filled this wide lane. Once the D keeps the puck, this player's this player's turn throughout this drill is now over. They're going to get back in this middle line and wait to start again. Okay? F2, who filled the inside lane, is now going to continue and mirror this breakout play with the two defensemen and then work to get nice and low and open up on the outside of the opposite wall. Okay, so you go from inside lane to outside lane. And then once this player comes all the way down and he's done passing, he's now done. Okay, so just remember a full complete cycle for the forwards is going to be um, fill the middle. Okay, fill the outside and then get back in line. Okay, so let's get rid of some of this to make it a bit more clear. And then I'll show you the D's routes, okay? Okay, so to start the drill again, remember we had this one D just initiate this breakout pass. He's done, and once he makes that pass, he's now going to fill this strong side post net front position okay once this d releases gets this puck comes up executes the breakout pass to either the middle or the wall option that defenseman is now gonna take a couple hard strides up ice to simulate joining the rush and once they cross the blue line he's now done and he's gonna fill this offensive blue line position Okay, once he's in the offensive blue line position, once he makes his offensive blue line gap, and then he comes back down with the forwards, making all those passes, he gets below the circle, he opens up, and he starts the next cycle. He's, he's then going to fill that net front position, okay? So just remember, uh, and, and again, if you've got more than six defensemen, you want your extra D waiting at the offensive blue line position, okay? If you don't have six defensemen, uh, I encourage the coaches to join in to keep this drill moving. Uh, if you're able and capable and willing, I encourage you to, to participate in the drill um, as a defenseman, okay? So again, join it at the offensive blue line all the way down. Initiate the breakout pass, go to the net front. Release from the net front, initiate the breakout, go to the offensive blue line, and it starts over again. Okay. Um, goaltenders, you're not involved unless coaches you want to get them involved, in which case you would have to uh, eliminate the net front D, and you can have the goalies doing the releasing to come get these pucks. And you can either work on direct passes with the goalies or you can have, you know, once this defenseman opens up, he can rim the puck and have the goalies work on stopping it. I prefer to have the goaltenders warming up during this drill at center ice. So you can either pat it off. I like to pat it off just so there's no interruptions for them. And so um, players have uh, a point of reference, especially these D because they're skating backwards. I would have the goalies working on movement with one of the coaches or, you know, if you're a youth team, maybe amongst yourselves, or if you do have a goalie coach helping out, that would be a great time to establish that rapport with the goaltending coach and, and get the goalies nice and warm, uh, working on technical skills and movement. Okay. Okay. So everything covered in this drill, um, Actually, did I go through, uh, yeah, I went through the forward. So again, you're just going to have one, uh, one line here at the middle 
on both sides. Other than to initiate the drill, you need two forwards to go. Okay, so again, just remember you're, you're starting the drill inside, outside, and then you're done. Okay, so everything that's covered in this drill, uh, passing, routes, rush, timing, talk, it's a really complex, uh, comprehensive drill, but again, it's presented in, in a way that you're getting a lot out of, out of the actual passing drill by running your routes and establishing good habits instead of just uh, starting with some of your generic uh, stationary stuff or whatever you want to do with your passing. I like to warm up with this one. Okay, so um, hopefully, you, hopefully you guys uh, utilize this one during the season. Hopefully you're enjoying these. Uh, as always, thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Okay, have a good one, guys.